Hey guys, I'm Sarah Richardson, also known as The Real Mrs. Grey, and I'm super excited to be guest artist again and filming another tutorial on behalf of Lisente. Here's what you'll be needing for my embossed butterfly design. I'm using Lisente foil in pure pink, and then I'm using three Lisente stardusts in Earth, Cluster, and Aurora. Now, if you're not familiar with the Stardust formulation, they are made from the thinnest, shiniest pieces of glitter flake, and they're so fine, they actually feel silky to the touch. So they lie completely flat on the nail, and they give you an ultra smooth finish. Okay, so I'm using CND Shellac today, but the beauty of Lucente products is that they work fantastically with other professional systems. I'm also using the new Lucente D1 Detailer Brush, and it is absolutely fantastic. It's made of natural hair and comes to a lovely point, so it gives you brilliant control when it comes to detailed nail art. Okay, so as the title suggests, I'm doing an embossed butterfly today. Now I'm doing it on a larger nail so you can actually see the design, but you can easily do this on a smaller nail as well. And I've got a lint-free pad here with some disperse on in case I need to clean my brush out. So I'll get straight on to detailing the butterfly. And then once you're happy with your design, you can just cure that in your lamp. I'm using the pure pink foil to emboss the butterfly, so I like to swipe the back of the foil with a cleanser or a dehydrator, and it just removes any finger oils or debris and just prepares the foil. So all you need to do is then press onto your cured design and then fill in any gaps that need doing. And then that's your embossed butterfly. Now I'm going to be making a glitter paste for the wings. So I've decanted three lots of shellac top coat into a thumb palette. And I'm going to add the tiniest amount of stardust. You really don't need a lot of this. It goes a long way. So, and then we're going to mix it with the top coat to make our glitter paste. Then I'm going to take the D1 detailer brush again and load it up with the glitter paste and start filling in the wings.
So I'm going to use the green as a highlighter colour, so I'm going to go around the edges with the green and then feather it and blend it into the existing colour. Now to clean the detailer brush I like to use Disperse on either kitchen paper or a lint free pad and then I twist and wipe at the same time to try and keep the shape and under no circumstances would I use acetone as this will actually strip the natural oils from the hair so you can see it's kept its lovely shape there. So once you've cured your butterfly wings, all that's left to do is to add your top coat and then cure and then your design is finished. So here is the finished look and I absolutely love it. It's got a slight raised look so it really gives that feeling of an embossed design. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll leave all the links at the end as to where you can find Lucente. And thank you for watching.